Well, a big bounce back win for the Razorbacks today here in Starkville, joined by Mitch Petras. A lot to talk about. Like I said, a big bounce back for the Razorbacks. Mitch, let's start with this. The dual threat, Raleigh Williams, four touchdowns on the ground, 205, and had that touchdown throw to Austin Cantrell in the third quarter. Just an absolute huge performance by Raleigh Williams tonight. Put the team on his back and really helped them to this win. Yeah, I mean, he's a, a big part of this win today. Uh, he had an excellent game in, in the first half, three touchdowns in the first half, and, the, and uh, 170 two yards on, on eight carries, I think it was. I mean, mm -hmm. it was a, a phenomenal performance on his part. Uh, a lot of things contributed to that. Uh, he, I mean, I'm happy for him. One of his best games he's had, but uh, – um, I'm uh, we we we've got uh, <laughs> so many other things that uh, I'm really happy for him. But Ben, uh, the credit the credit is must be due, and I'm happy for these hogs. We needed this win, but uh, um, you know, with that said, I've got to I've got to. I've got to I've got to focus on what needs to be corrected. You know, mm -hmm. today Florida goes down and beats LSU, and, and and LSU comes into our house and just runs all over. So our offensive line played a, a lot better today. Mm -hmm. I mean, it improved a lot. Now, with that said, the quality of defensive line they went against was not near as good, and we both know that. Um, but it's good that they didn't come out here and uh, and, and and just and shoot a blank and, and and totally whiff on this game. And, and on a game they're supposed to perform well, they did perform well. We put up a lot of points, a lot of yardage, and Austin Allen. And uh, mm -hmm. I, see, everybody knows this in the state of Arkansas, but I'm just going to go ahead and say it anyway. When when Austin Allen has got time in that pocket, he's able to make plays. And tonight, we, with with we weren't perfect, but overall our protection was solid enough to give him time to facilitate the offense the way Dan Enos has has, has implemented it and the way the way it's schemed to do. Uh, when he's got time, he's able to open up, and, and he was able to find a lot of different guys all over the field today. I was really I thought he made great decisions with the football all over all over Ben. But uh, with that said, uh, our defense has got to, he's got a lot of work to do. Mm -hmm. We know uh, I've. Uh, I'm a big offensive offensive guy, so it's a played offensive line. But as far as uh, as far as our defensive line's got to, is concerned, them and the offensive line have got to pick it up. They've they've got to not uh, when you've got a dual threat quarterback like like Fitzgerald was tonight, uh, we've got to be able to contain him better. I mean, w but with that said, Fitzgerald, is, I mean, yes, he can run the ball, but man, when he throws it, he is very accurate with the ball. I was very impressed with his ball placement and choice of you know when to throw the ball. His, his deep balls are on time, and, and uh, I thought Pulley played an excellent game. Every, you know, far you know, we took at the beginning, you know, they were picking us apart a little bit, and we were able to come together uh, and, co and be able to cover guys with our secondary. Now, with that said. We have got to get more pressure on the quarterback to, to, to help those coverage guys out. Everybody say, well, we got to cover him. I mean, you, got, you can't be so far off the ball. Or you got to see that route coming. No, defensive line pressure on the quarterback solves all of that. And when that pocket is – maybe you don't have a guy coming free or coming off the end, but if that pocket is, is quickly – uh, closing and squeezing, when, and, when, and when maybe, maybe, hey, maybe we don't have a guy that, that's, that's going to get a sack. But as far as him being able, it, it, it forces him to hurry the ball, hurry the pass, and that, it, that, that affects his accuracy. So we want to close that pocket in. And tonight, I saw Fitzgerald being able to sit there in the pocket for a long, as long as he wanted to. And when he was, he was able to stay, step into the majority of his throws because of there's no. We had guys coming around off the hump on the ends, but as far as the defensive tackles in the middle, they have got to push up field and, and create that bull rush. And we collapse it as a whole. When you got a running back that's, that can run the ball like that, you don't necessarily want somebody off the edge and, and flush him out of the pocket because he can make plays on his feet on the run outside of the pocket. We want to close that pocket all together at once and, and force him to get rid of the ball. And then when he, has, if he chooses to run, there's no place to go because everything is collapsed on him. Now, what's crazy, the crazy stat that I found after is that. We didn't see a single sack from either team tonight, so I like how you brought up you got to get pressure on that quarterback. Let's go back to the offensive line because really you were bouncing everywhere, no everywhere question. on no the question. field. Get ready, get ready, that's how I roll. So because if you, got, if you guys didn't hear this DJ guy, Williams, I see. <laughs> I can't either. I can't, I can't have it either. Sorry, go ahead. If you guys should have heard him in the car driving here to Starkville in four and a half hours, he went on like a good one-hour rant yeah, about man. how this offensive line needs to improve. Like I said, zero sacks allowed on Austin Allen today. A huge bounce back performance for this offensive line. What specifically did you see the most out of them? Today? I saw hat for hat a very uh, a big improvement on mental mistakes and missed assignments. We had a lot better a lot, a lot better plays where uh, we had guys a hat for hat getting to the correct player and and there's several plays that that uh, at Raleigh busted there that uh, on a power especially with Cooper pulling around for the for the back side for the Mike linebacker actually he was able he was able to make contact with the linebacker. There was no hole initially and, and really Raleigh goes up there and he bounces in 
in there hard, and there's nothing there, and he stays on his feet. Next thing you know, he finds a crease. But uh, uh, Johnny Johnny uh, Cooper, not Johnny Gibson, 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 excuse me, Johnny Gibson, Dumas, Arkansas. Excuse me, folks, I'm a represent Dumas, Arkansas. There, <laughs> Johnny Gibson is playing his heart out now. His 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 uh, what he's got to improve on is his mental part of the game. As far as being able to physical guy, he's a physical guy. But I saw Froholt. I saw I saw Rag. Uh, obviously Frank Ragdow. He's he's our best offense, and we have hands down. I saw those guys getting out in space and making plays. Uh, and and and, uh, and 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 Johnny Gibson himself. We were able to. And, and on the first very first play we scored on, he cut the backside guard off mm-hmm. on the backside of that the outside zone. And not only did he do that, he 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 forced that safety to get trapped up in all that all that garbage, and it allowed him to make make a break and get in the second you know 88 at the gate, and everything everything else is over with. We have got to. Mentally, as, as as off of the line, have more games like this. We have fewer missed assignments. That's what I saw. I saw fewer missed assignments. When you got a hat for a hat, you got a chance, and that's what we've got to have. We can't have one on one miss miss assignments. Where we're turning guys loose because we don't know who we have. I should say. You probably don't need me for these segments. Uh, se- we already ran out of I'm time I'm glad here, you're man. here, though. I'm sure glad you're here. I like that coat. Thank you. <laughs> Mitch, as always, thank you so much. We'll see how the Hogs can respond next week oh, at Missouri. Sorry. All right, stick around. Brad Bolding coming up to talk more high school football after this here on the final score with Westmore.